The Communication Arts Department provides students with a foundation for graduate study, future professional accreditation, and for careers within media and related fields. An undergraduate degree in Communication Arts focuses on one of three concentrations, digital video production, journalism, and public relations and advertising. Our students take common courses like media studies, public speaking, media writing, media production lab, law and ethics, theory, and then they branch into their concentration areas by taking separate courses. So think of Com Arts as a T, foundation for all with depth in a specific area of study. See, people find it a little bit unusual that uh, I'm studying PR advertising, but I'm also, you know, the anchor of Badger Television. It's amazing what I've learned about what goes on on the journalism side. And I think all in all, it's going to make me a better PR advertiser. One of the most important classes I think I took was strategic writing. What was ignited in me was the passion to compete. You know, the willingness, the, the eagerness, I guess, to engage in competition. And it's really, it's what it kind of inspired me to be a better student and to uh, compete in, in many competitions with AdPro. Um, and I think it's something that is very much ingrained in the culture here at Calm Arts. Um, that's what makes this department so incredible. I, I found my passion in Calm Arts. Seniors coming out of this program, we're ready to go. But what really kept me in Calm Arts was the passion that I gained from, from being a part of an amazing uh, department and really learning from some of the incredible teachers that are here. Our students demonstrate core competencies through a capstone experience that includes a portfolio and an independent, integrative, and synthesizing work, either a research paper or an applied project appropriate to the student's area of concentration. I chose to create an online presence for a small business that strictly worked through word of mouth, but I believed was missing out on some clientele. I built a website and a Facebook business page, and I ran this campaign for about four weeks. This is a project that continues to grow um, month after month, and today it has received 14 new clients, and I have been able to create a web presence for them, and also develop um, materials for me to take on in the real world. I am able to fully run and control social outlets for a business. The communication arts program here is very different. I have been able to gain experience through internships, through volunteer opportunities, and just through conversations and networking that our program sets up for you. You are able to really understand the public relations field and you're able to build a portfolio that will assist you in getting a job. So we knew for our senior seminar project we wanted to do something that works with the alumni office so we could better the college. On March 19th our event started at midnight and it ran for 24 hours so it ended at 11.59 um, and we raised $66,143.08 and we had 248 participants. It's really cool that starting freshman year in Dr. Kachmadova's media studies class to senior seminar watching all of the classes build off of each other into a project where we were able to implement the skills and knowledge that they gave us to raise $66,000. Students in the Communication Arts program will take courses that immerse them in the practice of media creation through hands-on training and practical assignments using current industry-specific equipment like cameras for photography and video, production equipment for shooting on location, uh, video editing stations for completing productions, and best of all, a complete live television production studio. So the Com Arts Department really has a great philosophy of wanting people to learn by doing. And that idea of just getting as much experience as you can in and out of the classroom. I used to just turn the camera on and say, let's shoot it. But now it's, you know, I know that pre-production and research and really finding out about your client, finding out about how you can be most effective and what are the best ways to reach out to this person and reach out to the audience, those are the biggest things. Uh, for me, I've really been able to have the opportunity to start doing commercial work, whether it be with the New Orleans Recreational Department and my Cadilla video, uh, music videos with Kevin Gates and people like Flo from Young Money. It was really a nice gateway into the music industry. Nothing like 
everything's right. Uh, having a lot of work on my portfolio, I think, really helped me out just because when I sent it to people, they were able to just be impressed and really kind of get a feel for who I am and what my style was instantly. Whether it be through community service, reporting on important news and events, internships, or through taking on communication projects in support of nonprofits or community groups, our students are focused on leveraging their education and skills to positively impact their communities. Welcome to this week's edition of Thursdays on the Hill. A lot of our classes are really hands-on. That's what I liked about communication arts is a lot of project-based. So we did, we read a lot of articles, but also like an intro to digital video production. We learned how to edit. And then in Badger TV, we learned how to use equipment and got hands-on training to do that so that we were trained to, to able to be a bat fat journalist, be able to shoot, edit, and um, write. So all those skills like added up to be able to create our packages on our own So and we didn't need a whole lot of help because we could do all three things. Mobile, Alabama has been a... I think I got a lot of practice at built, like talking about national stories and bringing them to the local levels and I also liked explaining them to students in a way that they could understand because sometimes stories are really complicated and it's hard to understand them. Police made arrest and confiscated money, cocaine, and marijuana. So the ethics that I learned in media law and um, and media ethics, I think that's going to help me to make sound decisions in the field when I do become a journalist so that um, I can make these good decisions and be able to say, okay, this is the right thing to do or this is the wrong thing to do in this situation. So I think Spring Hill prepared me to make those kinds of decisions. And our students get jobs and they get accepted into graduate schools. Two weeks after commencement, about 55% are placed or have been accepted into graduate school and our student accepted into grad school has an assistantship. Spring Hill College's Department of Communication Arts. We believe in learning by doing. By doing. By doing. By doing.